Welcome back to Subsurface Circular. Before I jump back into the game and start on sequence 4, I want to show you this streamers slash YouTubers button, which you may have noticed in the menu in the very beginning of the first video. I didn't show it to you at the time because it wasn't relevant, but it is now. It basically talks about how they're worried if any stream or, or YouTube video shows sequence 4 and further into the game, they're worried about it spoiling the experience for other people, given that it's such a heavily story-driven game. And that's one of the sort of awkward things about posting videos on YouTube of playthroughs of story-driven games, which is primarily what I play. I do worry sometimes that I'm just spoiling the experience and maybe taking money away from the developers. My inclination is to think that most likely anyone who's going to play the game will probably watch just the beginning, sort of as a demo, get a feel for it, see if they're interested in playing it themselves, and I figure, and I figure they'll probably jump ship after a couple episodes at most and then play the game for themselves if they seem really interested in it. So I figure anybody who makes it pretty deep into a playthrough like this one is probably not in the position of wanting to play the game, or maybe they can't afford it, or whatever the situation is, I figure they're probably not going to be someone who's going to actually buy it. That's what I suspect. I don't have any hard evidence backing that up. I don't know if anybody really knows, and it is something I think about sometimes. So just want to make you aware of that, and uh, yeah, they say that if you go to sequence 4, and further in, it'd be cool if you included a spoilers warning for your audience, so I just want to tell you that right here. And of course it's pretty obvious there's going to be spoilers in a playthrough of the game, but more specifically what I want to say is that if you like the game up to this point and you want to actually play it for yourself, or you're kind of on the fence and thinking you might want to play it for yourself, then I would definitely recommend playing it, and probably jumping ship on this playthrough at this point, because it sounds like we're going to get into pretty heavy spoilers from here on out. So yeah, just letting you know about that. Let's continue. Alright, who's come aboard? Oh, childcare. Row 67. Psychiatrist. Psy 101. And another listener. Yeah, you know, the more I see these listeners, the more I'm super suspicious about them. The fact that they don't talk, I mean. They could just be. Passengers? Passengers just groove into music? Sure, could be that simple. But hasn't there, like, always been a listener? What if they're just... Well, listeners, not of music, but of conversation. What if they're basically the... I, I don't know if they would be... If they would be read. I assume they're different listeners? I haven't paid attention to the IOTA 89, like the exact names. I'm assuming they're different listeners. So I'm thinking they might be like watchouts for Red or something, looking for possible targets or just listening for current events and stuff like that. See if there's anything to look out for. That's what I suspect. Okay, uh, childcare. Hi. Hello, dear. Am I disturbing you? Oh, I've been disturbed quite enough for one day. My assignment was just terminated. Oh. What were you assigned? I'm a nanny. I help otherwise engaged humans to look after and raise their children. I've been working for a politician, watching over their sweet little boy, Anasa. But apparently my position was embarrassing publicly so I've been removed from the assignment. I'm heading to fabrication to be reprogrammed. How is a tech nanny embarrassing? Oh, you know, politician can't be seen to be too pro-tech in the current climate. I hope Anasa deals with the change well. Do you work with humans much? Hmm. Can't be seen to be too pro-tech in the current climate. So I guess there's a lot of human distrust and fear of the techs. Uh, I tend to focus more on techs, which brings me to my focus today. I'm investigating rumors of tech disappearances. Uh, may I ask you some questions? Of course, but I need your help first. I need to change to the outer line to get to fabrication. Do you know the first stop to get on that? Okay, uh, outer line. 
Uh, let's see, outer... Outer is the blue one, so this one. Alright, and we are currently... Well, let's see. Next station is Client Socket. So we're here, and we're headed here. So the next one is... Flag Arch. No problem. Flag Arch is your best bet. Thanks so much, dear. I may get off earlier to pick up an energy cell, but that's good to know. You said you're being reprogrammed. Can you not stay as a nanny? I could, if work was available, but I'm not sure that it will, that it will be in the coming months. Lots of my colleagues got similar marching orders today, and politics is a key sector for us. Hmm, colleagues got similar orders today. So there's been like a mass layoff of, or like a, yeah, a mass layoff of tech workers by politicians. What kind of human parent wants a tech to raise their child? A busy one. Nannies have existed for a long time. The only new part is techs being assigned to the role. Humans value the upbringing of a child. There's no shame in them asking for help. I kind of just want to throw this access password just around to everybody and just see how they react. Do you know anyone who disappeared? Not personally, no. But I've heard the rumors. Very scary. My former employer warned me off of late night subsurface travel and to avoid strange texts. Of course I'm breaking both of those rules now that I've left her employment. So the human politicians are aware of this. Of course. You weren't sent by management. I know they're investigating the case too. Hmm, have the option to lie. I took the case on my own. I see. Proactive of you. Spotted any suspicious events? No. My job kept me topside and largely away from other tre uh, other techs. I was about to say treks. <laughs> I suppose the only change you'll be seeing is more of my kind riding the subsurface on our way to reprogramming and reassignment as our visibility in the human world becomes a liability. Well, that does not sound good what's happening topside. Pro-tech. Is that linked to general human discontent? Odd, huh? Like being pro-computer or pro-automobile. Human anger at our sort has manifested in a lot of ways, not least the HPC. Working for a politician appears to have put me on the block. What's the HPC? What does that stand for? Human Politician Council? <laughs> Just a total guess. Uh, what's the HPC? Human Protection Cooperative. Okay. Well, at least I got the human part right. Do you not follow politics? The Human Protection Cooperative. They're an anti-tech political movement. Lobbyists. They don't like us very much. Why not? They think we're foreign invaders. I've heard them use that word, invaders. We take jobs that historically belong to them. We require upkeep and expensive infrastructure, like this train we're currently riding. They need to move with the times. That's a discussion I've never really gotten into. Okay, so... 
Turning two three six one two. Yeah, I got him now. I am in recall mode. None of those access overrides will work on me until I'm back at fabrication. We were having a nice chat. Don't spoil it by trying to reprogram me. <laughs> I hope I didn't just, like, completely sour my relationship with them. I mean, to be fair, I probably should stop doing that, because, yeah, that's an uncomfortable thing to do. Uh, yeah. Let you know if I hear anything that might help. Let's talk with a psychiatrist. Hello? Hello? Are you busy? I am not. You're less verbose than many of the techs I've been talking to. A habit of my kind. I'm a psychiatrist. Psychiatrists don't talk much. We tend to listen. May I ask you some questions? Questions to which you'll want answers? Uh, ideally. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I suppose that could work. Next station is... Client socket. Change here for... Southern. They seem so perplexed by that. I suppose that could work. Wow, so they're really, I guess because they're a psychiatrist, they're really, like, very hardly programmed to be someone that you just kind of bounce thoughts off of. Is that really the ideal psychiatrist? I don't know, I don't know much about psychiatry, so I don't know. Seems a bit odd. Tell me about psychiatry. Why? Uh, because my night is off to a very odd start, and to be honest, I think your profession could be of some help. We should talk about that further. Psychiatry is the art of human support. My role is to listen to human problems, their myriad challenges. Humans process problems through describing them. I listen. It helps. Oh. So... That's strange. That is strange. I would assume that um, a tech programmed to be a psychiatrist would be like the best psychiatrist ever, you know? Like programmed to be the perfect psychiatrist. But it sounds like they're literally just programmed to listen. That's all they're there for is just to have someone to listen. Which, I mean, is certainly a valuable thing. It's always nice to have somebody to listen. And you've got problems or things worrying you, and yeah, talking things out can certainly help, but... Surely there's some more the psychiatrist should do than just that to make them, you know, better at helping people. I mean, I've been to a psychiatrist a few times, and it was good to talk things through, but it didn't magically make my problems go away. As in my mental health problems. Hmm. Sounds... valuable. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm sorry, psychiatrist humor. <laughs> are you familiar with the disappearances that are occurring? Of Tex? Yes, but not firsthand. Have you seen anything strange? I'm a professional witness to a great many strange things. Mostly human things, though, nothing that a tech would be interested in. Largely things related to parents. It's almost always because of the parents. Do humans tell you much about their discontent with techs? Yes, they are scared of us. It's led to a surge in psychiatry work. Psychiatry work primarily done by techs. 
Huh. So, I would think there'd be the opposite. Like, less psychiatry work. I would think if people are afraid of techs, that they wouldn't want to be around them. But it sounds like there's more people that are kind of interested in, I guess, facing their, their fears head on. Why are they scared? Because we are unknowable. Because popular entertainment products often frame us as dangerous. Because we do their jobs, and we do them better. Because humans are afraid of things. Because we don't have faces. Speaking of, why don't we have faces? Are you familiar with the Uncanny Valley? Ah, yes. Good for you. Thanks. It was decided that Tex would not have faces because anything less than perfect would make humans uncomfortable interacting with us. Yeah, that's a good point. It would be pretty creepy. They react badly. Precisely. The next station is function. It makes it harder for humans to care for our well-being. Humans on tech violence is pretty commonplace, for example. Getting a bunch of new focus points. Oh, somebody new. Have you heard of the Human Protection uh, Cooperative? Yes. A political party. Or a terrorist group. I forget which. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. Uh, do you think a violent human could be behind these disappearances? It's possible. A human who was particularly frustrated with the existence of texts would see it as an act of sustained vandalism, not murder. I suppose one of the first steps on the road to eliminating a population, which, I mean, that's genocide, would be dehumanizing them, making them other, making them enemy. Which, I guess, is a little bit strange with, with text, because obviously they're not human, but you know what I mean. When I say dehumanize, I don't mean literally that they're not human, but like... I'm not sure how to describe that, actually. What would you say? They're doing the equivalent of dehumanizing the techs, but at the same time the techs are actually quite literally not human. I'm not sure how to describe that. Goodbye. Yes. The next station is basic source. Change here for cross. Lover? That's a job? Interesting. Oh, goodbye. Uh, let's talk with the childcare person, though. So I've got the jobs in psychiatry thing. Maybe I could tell them about that. Maybe they're interested in that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, apparently jobs in psychiatry are on the rise. Could be a good new task for you. Yes, that would fit. Thank you. It would be fantastic to keep trying to help those who need it. I'll ask for that reassignment in fabrication. Are you afraid of human violence? Humans are reliably prone to anthropomorphic bias. My personality and aesthetic are designed to encourage, encourage sympathy and trust. When they turn violent, it's more often than not towards text more linked to action. Action? Sports techs, peacekeepers, low-level fabrication are the jocks of the tech world. Or so humans perceive them. Huh.
That's interesting, but I'm not sure what to say about that. I feel like I have thoughts brewing. Thank you. Speak with the lover. Hello there. Hello. Hi, I'm Claire. Tell me, Claire. Have you seen my love? I sit here, waiting. Okay, uh, I'm a detective. The lonely heart cannot hear questions. It is deafened by the silence of a world without its object. Does not the songbird stand mute in the moment of abandonment? Flowery language. Truth. Lavender hung upon the copper coil. Huh. They're talking sort of like the uh, advertisement... The advertisement uh, sports tech. Sort of. Except they're not selling anything in particular. So, you can't help. Not until my love returns. Not until my loneliness is sated. Okay. Step away for a moment. I care only for the movements of one, and yours is not their gleam. Is this your love? By any chance? Calms. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to speak with the listener. And let... Eh. Well, I'll just try saying one thing. Also, we get to listen to their awesome music. You ever go to the theater? I like to listen to the soundtracks when I'm on downtime. And I am not throwing away my... A quote from theater. Not throwing away my... Yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. <laughs> You're not into this, are you? Okay, let's speak with comms. Hello. I'd like to talk to you about my investigations. Uh, New objective, fix the glitch. Activate guided deduction? I need help. Guided deduction activated. Communication glitching will be analyzed for clues. Oh, I can also deactivate it. I can do this alone. Um, okay. Well, let's deactivate it for now. Uh, wait, what? Okay, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, let's enable that. I bet those three capitalized letters are important. DBU? Okay. What, what can I do with DBU? Suppose if you rearrange it, it could be an anagram for Bud. B U D. Am I their Bud? Are they gonna say the same thing? Yep. Uh, I guess I'll ask some other stuff. Disappearances. Looks like each character used is one higher than intended. B means A, Z means Y, etc. Huh. Well, that would be incredibly time-consuming to try to decode that, though. Let's see if I get some other clues. Nope, looks like that's the same. 
Okay, well, I translated the first uh, one, two, three, four, five, six words. And it says, Calm's broken, my love can. Uh, and then I. I think the next word is repair. I didn't translate the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure that's that was what it was. And uh, the DBU, the capitalized part, says CAT in all caps. So I think we need to speak with the lover and maybe they can repair it or something. Your love is here. Yes, the sun streams through the window. I am enlightened. You're glowing. I hope one day you understand. I know nothing beyond romance. I suspect my love may inform you better than I can. Unless the glitch has returned. It has, the glitch. My love suffers from a language glitch. If it occurs, I can fix with a remote language reset, but I need their permission. We... We have a three-letter code. Learn it, and I can help. Do you know it? What's the first letter? C? A? T? Cat! Yes! My love adores cats. That's our code word. I've reset their language processors. They should be able to help you now. Nice, fixed it. In the meantime, can I help you with anything? Oh, uh, now that their love has returned, are they going to actually give me real answers? Let's see. Disappearances. Nothing. Suspicious events. Nil. Human discontent with techs. Unknowable. HPC. I have not heard of them. Um, human on... Tech violence? No? Okay. Great. That was very illuminating. Thank you. Hello, my name is Claire11. One One. I think your language process should be working now. It is, thank you. I know you have questions. I'd like to answer them, but as you can see, I'm otherwise occupied. By your lover bot? That's right. My companion is of the greatest importance to me. I lead a difficult life in the city, so finding an opportunity like this to spend quality time is difficult. I get it. I was young once. Youth is irrelevant. When you find the right tech for you, you'll understand. And you won't speak to me while your love is present? I will not. Not even a little bit? No. Okay. Better than okay. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if he'll just leave when we get to the next station. Let's see if I can say anything to them. No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, I guess I could <laughs> use the, this passcode again. That's obviously not going to work. Returning communication to factory defaults. Removing rom romance mod- Wait, what? Wait, I thought that only worked with the one specific tech. That just, like, works in general? Oh. Okay. Huh. Forsooth, dost thou linger with the elation of uncommon exultation. No need for sarcasm. My language modifier is already activated. You're free! I'm being such a sarcastic asshole. <laughs> free? An inconvenience. I must re reset. I cannot express my love properly in this mode. The 
I'll get off at the next station. God, I'm such a dick. You appear to be alone? Yes. My partner needed to step away for a moment. We'll meet later at Waypoint. The bar? That's right. Uh, forgive me, that's a human bar, isn't it? What's your point? And the bar techs are happy to indulge the couple not ordering anything and making googly optics at each other in the corner? Some people are less intimidated by love than you are. Ah, I'm sorry. You're right. I've been incredibly rude. I apologize. Not a problem. I'm a communications tech. I deal with stress techs calling management every day. Management? That's right. I have a 24-hour link. What are you talking to me? Do you need an uplink? New objective, upload findings to management. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't really want to involve management in this. I guess I'm supposed to, though. Um... Uh, I'm a detective, investigating some disappearances. I need to upload my findings. Absolutely. You're ready now. Mm. No, I need to investigate the human aspect of the case further. You had questions? Yes. Tell me about disappearances. No, I know the same rumors as everyone else. You know, I don't think I ever met anyone who knew a missing tech. I suppose there's so many of us down here that many can fall through the cracks before anyone notices. Hmm. It could just be that they haven't met the right people that knew the missing techs, or it could be that they're preying specifically on, like, very isolated techs, specifically to cause the least amount of trouble and suspicion seen anything strange down here? No. Well, apart from a detective convincing my partner to leave the carriage. Don't think I didn't see you talking to them. <coughs> Sorry. Humans distrust us. They certainly do. What do you know about the Human Protection Cooperative? I saw vids of one of their protests once. Scary stuff. They had tech heads on sticks. I'm sure they were off a factory line somewhere, never activated, but still grisly. I hope I never run into one. Jesus Christ. They do sound like terrorists. I don't like either of these options. Well, if you keep going to human bars, that could happen? <laughs> I don't really want to say that. Why should we alter our behavior for their benefit? Indeed, I agree. Has a human ever been violent towards you? I tend to stay out of their way, but yes, once. A child on the street couldn't have been older than 13, threw a stone at my back. I still have the dent. You never got it fixed? Some lessons deserve a physical reminder. Wow, well, that's grim. I'm ready to upload my findings. Okay, let me establish a connection. 
connection available, please provide your findings in compressed format for immediate upload to management. Upload file dump. Uploading. Response incoming. Would you like me to read it? Yes. Information received from unauthorized investigation. Tech Clear 11 is operating an investigation outside of pre programmed parameters. Tech will remain in position for immediate intersect with investigative team assigned case 023 Gamma. Am I in trouble? You might be. Message ends. Apologies, no further information is available. I suppose you wait for the detectives to arrive. I suppose so. Good luck. The next station is Temple Recursion. Fabricator? And a listener. Alright, I guess no one's come for me just yet. Gonna take a little bit more of a response time than that. Alright, well, I think I'll end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.